What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is part 2 of stream building a keyboard. If you haven't watched me buy everything, you should go check it out first. This is me unboxing it and building it with stream. All the stuff we have ordered has arrived. Uh, enjoy this video. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for printing of PCBs, fabrication of CNC, aluminum or 3D printing. It is extremely user-friendly, simply upload your files of your 3D models or your designs of your PCBs and you're about 99% done. Their standard PCBs have about a 24-hour turnaround and that's pretty fast but they can expedite that service for you if you are printing in smaller batches as well. If you want to customize your PCB more, you can opt for advanced PCB. This will include layers from 1 all the way to 30 and they do provide color options for your silk screen and your solder mask. Aside from all those, they also do provide test reports for free. Free. So if you ever want to print any sort of stuff, PCBs, fabrication or 3D printing, PCB way is the place to go. Go and check them out. Link in the description down below. I don't know, maybe you want to print something for your school project. Then yeah, go check them out. Uh, we're going to go back to the video. Bye. All right, we have the peaches or oh, Aegis peaches switch. I heard they're tactile. Those are bananas. Oh shit, redo, redo. <coughs> Unboxing time. We have the Aegis bananas. We have the keycaps, which are double shot ABS, which is like GMK standard, I hopefully. The print looks very good though. Our base to start with. The Fika IK75 V3 gasket mount. 75% of a knob. We all love those, don't we? We got ours in black. Unboxing time. Ooh, it's pretty, feels pretty nice. It smells funky though. All right, we have a braided USB-C cable. Actually really nice braid. Keycap and switch puller. Good old Fika, very nice. And then we have the keyboard itself. Oh, it's a plate. What the heck? Extra polycarbonate plate. This is so cool. And then we have the keyboard itself. It looks pretty nice. I like the knob. Look at the knob. It's like shiny. All right, the top housing looks to be polycarbonate to me. Actually, I'm not sure. It might be frosted acrylic. All right, we have some plate mounted steps. We need to loop them. Aside from a good old USB-C connection, we have 2.4 gigahertz receiver and Bluetooth. Jesus Christ, that's really bright. We'll start off with dismantling it. No, it's not screws. You need to pry it open. Oh, I forgot to mention that there are adjustable feet if you are interested in those, but I am not, so too bad. Progress, progress. I got it off. All right, so we'll unplug the Bluetooth battery. There we go. All right, this is our base. It has foam already included. On, It's pretty dense, but it's not very thick. With my suggestion, I'm not choosing, but my suggestion is we keep this foam. Aside from that, we have two humongous batteries and nothing else. This foam, are we keeping it or not? All right, we have decided that we are using the foam. We're keeping it in. Oh, there's PCB foam. It's sticky. What the heck? Who does this? This goes under the PCB with the case foam normally, but will we keep it? All right. It seems like we're keeping it as well. It's held together by like six screws. I'm going to unscrew them all. We have a aluminum plate, I believe, or maybe steel with plate foam. Pretty chunky, pretty heavy. Are we keeping the plate foam or not? All right, we're going with plate foam. Sorry guys, I tried to stop everyone. I think the people who voted no are the ones who usually come to my stream because I always remove plate foam nowadays. Do you guys want to re-vote on the plate foam? Redo, 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 redo. All right, do we want plate foam or not? I vote no. Why I explain, please. Okay, yeah, plate foam somewhat mutes your board. If you want to achieve thock or pop, you usually don't use plate foam. If you want to achieve clack, then you would use plate foam. All right, there we go. We are not using plate foam. The redo worked. North facing PCB 5 pin. Very nice. Hot swappable. CIV hot swap sockets. Next up, the plate that we will be using. Aluminum, somewhat aluminum plate. Polycarbonate plate. Frosted polycarbonate. Very nice. Poly good, poly good. Very good, very good. We're doing well. This is like a test lesson for you guys on what I would do. Polycarbonate is winning with 86%. We have about uh, eight, 12 more, 18 more votes to go before the decision is made. Oh, there we go. We won. Uh, polycarbonate won. So we're gonna move on to the stabilizers. Do you guys want me to loop the stabilizers or like what? All right, the loop win. Yep, loop one. All right, time to watch a show. What do you guys want to watch? Watch one of Squashy's videos. At least I don't get copyrighted that way. Check. All right, we're done. Brand new 23 get, light. get out of here, boy. Okay, stabilizers are done. We're going to install them to the plate. I'm going to let chat decide whether we screw in anything at all. Because I think screws might cut the flex. So you guys will decide. All right, we're good to go, boys. All right, next up is P foam. I do have P foam, but only for like the alphas. Do we want P foam? Next up is standoffs or no. They go in between the plate and the PCB. Standoffs just, I think, provide lesser flex. 
if I am not wrong. It's a close fight on this one. 10 more votes. 10 more votes. Thing we do have to put on the standoffs. I'm sorry, lads. All right, we'll put it in. Standoffs won, 57%. These are so pain to install. I actually hate them so much. All right, revote, revote. I hope we do not need to install them because I don't think I know how to install them. <laughs> To be honest, democracy was more. Yeah, dude, bribes are allowed here. Come on. Oh, no is winning. Great. Good job, guys. All right, no one. 69 votes, 66% was on that. All right, we have the AJS banana switches. They are packaged really nicely. I actually really like this packaging. These are tactile switch under the brand called AJS. It's a budget option switch, I would say. We cannot install them. Because we don't have standoffs, I would recommend you do what I do and install your switches at the top four corners and then put them on because it would make your life a lot easier. This plate is really tight. It has very low tolerance for spaces, which is a good thing, but it is pretty hard to install without standoffs. The best way to check do you install your switches correctly is to make sure that the plate is still straight. And then we do a quick test, just to test if the switches work. <gasps> Backspace doesn't work. Bent, pinned. I'm not gonna fix it. We're just gonna put a new one in. All right, Um, tape mod. Do we do tape mod? Tape mod. This is the last thing we need to decide. And then we put on keycaps, assemble it back together, we're done. Wow, we are getting a lot of votes pretty fast. Tape mod. All right, tape mod it is. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, do vote for number of layers. We'll do two, three, four, and five. Five? Why are we doing five? Three is enough. Anything more than three is useless. Three, come on. 100 votes. Three, one, three, one, three, one. There we go, three layers of tape. Pretty thick. All right, do we still add PCB foam? Does this still go in? We're still keeping case foam and we have tape modded, three layers. Do we still put PCB foam? If I receive a bribe, I'll do a revote. Oh, she. We'll do a revote. I, won't, I, I will not accept a full on bribe. Do not put it in. PCB foam, <laughs> revoted because of a two Canadian dollars bribe. This was under the table kind of deal, you know? Oh my God, yes, it is winning. Oh, no, it's winning now. Okay, I guess we are not putting it in. <laughs> Whatever is done in this stream stays in this stream. All right, guys, bribes will never be known. Revote, but oh shit, we knew. Oh shit, I would vote no. Oh, oh. that's the biggest bribe we have all day, which means a revote. Okay, last one, like no cap. I, I don't want to take any more money. <laughs> I'm just doing it for fun, but this, this is getting too much now. <laughs> We're doing the last one, right? This is the last revolt. What's going on here? What the heck? Yes, it's Vaughn. <sighs> Alright, yes, Vaughn. I'm sorry. No more bribes. We're done. We're done. There will be no flex in the keyboard. We are putting the PCB foam. Boom. Alright. We're done. Flex check. There's none. <laughs> These are the hammerhead, I think. Hammerhead knockoffs that you guys chose. Keycaps look nice though. Look at the print. Double shot ABS as well. Pretty sick. We only have one choice and the, oh my god, flipped spacebar. Please, someone bribe me to do non-flipped spacebar. I know most of you guys are flipped spacebar gang, but I'm not flipped spacebar gang. No. This is the fastest 100 votes we have ever gotten. Okay, 100 votes, 106 votes, no flip one. I did it, I redid it twice, okay? We got bribed. I mean, the cr pole crashed twice and two of it was no flip. So too bad, noobs. Oh my God. That's so much better. Nice, we like it. All right, we're done. Typing test. The Vigar K75 actually not that bad. I actually do enjoy it a lot. The switches are pretty nice. Sound very clacky, but they feel very nice. If you are looking for a tactile switch, I would recommend this actually. Yeah, anyway, this time for the Irene. <laughs> this is the real stuff, guys. This is the Irene, dude. We've been waiting for this for so long. This is one of the keyboards that we couldn't get into the finals, but one that I really wanted to check out. What the heck is this for? <laughs> I'm gonna build it. 
Done. Don't you blow into this to play it? What the heck? I think I do, right? <laughs> okay, sound test, sound test. <laughs> That's pretty talky, yo. <laughs> play a tune. Now I can return it. No, I'll probably just keep it. It's pretty fun to play with. Anyway, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is our stream building a keyboard for the first time. I want to do this more with more websites aside from Bango, of course. So help blow this video up because uh, this cost me a lot of money to do. If you want to make me buy more keyboards, just watch the video more. Maybe like the video, subscribe. That helps me a lot. Let's hopefully get this video to 100,000 views soon. I'll be giving away this keyboard too. So whatever you guys are giving me, I will be giving back to you. So it's a win-win situation here. I'll figure out how to give away the keyboard soon. So do look out for that. Follow my social medias. I'll update that as well. And the Irene, it's for myself because it's major end game it's thok it's looped but yeah this has been stream builds keyboards i'll see you guys in the next one peace